Hi, my name is Miguel from AboidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to configure and access VPN server in Windows 7. This is divided into three sections. One, configure the server, in this case Windows 7. Two, configure the router to enable us to connect via VPN. And three, configure the client. So let's start. Now to configure the server, click on Start, Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, Change Adapter Settings, and here click on the Alt key in your keyboard and it'll bring up this menu. Here click on File, then click on New Incoming Connections. Now here select the user which is going to connect throughout the VPN. If it's not already created, you can always click on Add Someone to create a user. Once you're done, click on Next. People will connect throughout the internet. Check mark that and then click on Next. Leave everything default here and then allow access. Perfect, the incoming connection has been created. Here's a computer name. Write it down because we're going to need it in the future. And here's our new icon, incoming connections. Perfect. Now we need to know the IP address of the server and the default gateway to configure the router. So click on start and type CMD and press enter or you can click on cmd.exe under programs then type IP config and press enter key and here it will give you the IP address of the server and the default gateway write down the IP address and the default gateway because we're going to use this information later once you're done close the window here and open Internet Explorer here type the IP address of the default gateway I am using Linksys router but yours might be different type your credentials here if you don't know the username and password for your router you can always Google for the default username and password for the router so now in my case is application and gaming port forwarding in other routers you need to configure just port forwarding and some of them require you to additionally configure the pass-through. So now I'm going to name my application PPTP point-to-point -point tunneling protocol and then enable port 1723 as an external port. For internal port is the same 1723. Protocol I'm going to leave it default both and to be forwarded to the IP address of the server which is 110. Enable here and then save settings. Perfect. Now the router has been configured for the VPN access. Now we need to find out the external IP address. You can do it throughout the router or the easiest way which is using Google. In Google just search for what is my IP and that's it. It'll come up you don't even have to open a, a site here it is now write this down because this is what we are going to use to connect through the VPN now we need to configure the client computer in the client computer click on start control panel network and internet then click on network and sharing center here go to set up a new connection or network then go to connect to a workplace set up a dial-up or VPN select it and then click next here use my internet connection VPN and now type the IP address now I'm going to do it both ways I'm going to select the local IP address which is the 110 
I'm going to leave the destination name as is and then click on next and here type the username and password now after this I'm going to do the same with the external IP address the reason why I created this one with the local IP address is because I already created the video and I didn't want to edit it perfect now I'm connected uh, to the server via VPN locally close here perfect now I'm gonna walk you through the same steps but via WAN so set up a new connection or network again and here click on connect to a workplace set up a dial up or VPN click next this window came up because we previously created one so select no create a new connection in my case and then next use uh, my internet connection VPN perfect and now internet address type the WAN IP address here it is destination name you can change it if you like then click on next and then type the username and password and connect at least you know how to do it both locally and uh, WAN perfect you are connected now we have access to the uh, files as if that computer is in the network just click on start type the word run and press enter or click on run under programs and here type backslash backslash and the computer name remember it gave us that it gave us that computer name at the beginning and then click OK perfect now we have the files the shared files on that computer and we can access it from here as if that computer is in the network thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you